Virginia became the 38th state to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment last month, but the deadline for the ratification passed four decades ago. That is not the only problem. The ERA does not consider the rights of the unborn and would be used to justify abortion on demand funded by taxpayers. And now House Democrats are attempting to pass legislation seeking to retroactively remove that ratification deadline, which would allow the Equal Rights Amendment to be added to the U.S. Constitution. It is crucial. The Equal Rights Amendment is not ratified, and that brings us to this week's call to action. Go to ProLifeWeekly.com to find out how to call your member of Congress and tell them to vote no on the ERA. Once you get to ProLifeWeekly.com, all you will do is type in some basic information so we can connect you with your member of Congress, and you can give them a call to share your pro-life message. Again, even though the Equal Rights Amendment sounds like a positive for all, it is a very disingenuous name. The ERA is not neutral on abortion and, in fact, is an attempt to enshrine abortion on demand in the Constitution of the United States. It would do this by prohibiting the enactment of any law that applies a rule to only one sex and not the other. That means pro-life laws could be struck down as a violation against the Constitution based on sex discrimination. Make sure to contact your member of Congress and tell them to vote no on the ERA by going to ProLifeWeekly.com.